Hey everybody, uh, my name's Ryan, this is my Raspberry Pi Sprout. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Sprout Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a setup something called a systemd service. Uh, these are really really handy if you want to start a service, a server, uh, Minecraft or website or whatever um, when your Raspberry Pi reboots. Um, so for example if you lose power, um, lose internet, uh, for a brief period of time, you know, this happens to all of us every now and then, uh, you don't have to manually restart your server, the systemd will take care of it. Luckily this is really really easy to do, so let's get into it. Uh, first we'll go to cd etc systemd system directory, uh, do a little ls and you'll see we have all kinds of services here. Uh, I have my own minecraft.service running, so for this video we're going to do sudo nano mc1.service. Um, this can be anything you want, I'm just calling it mc1 for Minecraft 1. Okay, we'll press enter. Next I'm going to copy and paste um, some text that I already had prepared here. Uh, I'll copy and paste this into the description below so you have it as well as a model. Uh, let's go line by line here to see what this is. Uh, the description here, you can call this anything you want, I just call it Minecraft test service. Uh, I'm running it as user Minecraft, not as user Pi. Um, I've said in other videos that in general you don't want to run these sort of things as root user. Um, it can be a security risk or you sort of risk messing up things in your system. So we're going to run it as user Minecraft. Um, if you don't know how to create a new user, um, I've gone that, over that in other videos, but let's do a quick refresher. Um, what you do is sudo add user, and we'll do mc1 here. Uh, new password, okay. This stuff's not very important. Um, blah, just for fun, is this correct? Yes. And then if we open a new tab, we'll do SSH MC1 at Sprout, um, no password, password, and boom. Now we are uh, user MC1, which is super cool. So let's uh, log out of there. But we're not as user MC1, we're as user Minecraft. So let's go down here. Uh, the working directory is where your server is located, so let me hop over to my user Minecraft. We'll go to cdopt mc1, um, and this is where my server is. So you can see here's my server.jar, my world, my nether, server.properties, blah blah blah. Um, next is going to be the exec start. So what you want to do is type user bin, and then this is what runs the server, is the Java plus your RAM parameters, maybe you have some Iker flags in there, whatever you're using to start your server, um, put that in here. And if this looks really foreign to you, uh, please check out my video on how to create a Minecraft server. Um, then after you do that, this should make a little more sense. Uh, and of course, make sure that it's pointing to the correct server.jar in the um, MC1 directory, or whatever your directory is. Restart seconds are gonna be 10. Um, you can make this one, you could make it 100, or really whatever you want. Just imagine when your Raspberry Pi reboots, um, it'll take 10 seconds for this system D service to start. And then of course restart will be always. Um, install wanted by multi-user.target. Okay, so we will do control X here, press Y for yes, press enter. Now if we do ls again, we have mc1.service. Wonderful. Now what we want to do is we're going to do sudo um, system ctl mc1 uh, oh excuse me uh, enable mc1 dot service okay I think that's right let's see if that works okay good um, nothing bad happened here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, service mc1 status let's try that okay it's thinking Cool, so we see that it is loaded but inactive. That's good, um, that means it's on the machine. Next, what we wanna do is we're gonna run sudo, uh, let's see, sudo service mc1 start. Okay, cool. Now we'll wait for it to do that and to see if it's thinking and running, we're gonna do uh, again service, no, 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 excuse me. We're gonna do journal ctl uh, dash fu uh, mc1.service and cool we can see here that the uh, server is booting up um, you can see started minecraft test service so there's our system d uh, stuff working which is really cool um, okay and you can see that again if you've done a minecraft server before you know what this looks like um, here you can see this is what it would look like on reboot 
on the on the system side. So you can see it's loading and it's loading, and I've got my uh, Minecraft client here open um, just to make sure we can detect it. So this one up here is uh, another server I have running. Let's refresh, pinging, and there it is. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control C to get out of there. Now it's running in the background, which is really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do system, excuse me, I'm going to do service. Sorry, we want to do sudo. sudo service mc1 stop. Okay, sudo service mc1 stop. I'll press enter. Okay. And it's probably thinking for a moment, waiting for that to happen. And while it's thinking, we're going to hop over actually to this other uh, tab here, and we're going to do uh, journal ctl minus fu mc1.service and just see if it's thinking. Cool. So now you see that it's shutting down the server. Um, and that is pretty much it. Uh, so let's jump over here. It looks like it's still thinking. Um, now the big test here is going to be to restart our server, or excuse me, restart our Raspberry Pi to make sure this uh, works on boot. So I'm just going to do Control C here. I'm going to clear everything. Um, it's four o'clock now, and uh, I'm going to do sudo reboot. Okay, so let's do that, and now we can see that the connection to Sprout was closed. Now, if you'll recall, the um, system D restart time was 10 seconds. So let's wait here a minute um, for the Raspberry Pi to restart, and then we will um, check that the systemd service started on boot. Uh, while we're waiting, I will also link this in the description below. I found this really great um, article on DigitalOcean on how to use systemctl to manage system CD, systemd services. Um, so there are a lot of really great tips here um, if you ever get lost or want to um, kind of play around with your server administration skills, uh, I found this to be a really, really good article. So uh, let's hop back over here. I'm sure it's uh, sure it's back up and running. Let's uh, SSH into our Raspberry Pi here. I hope it's online. Okay, there we go. Hope I typed in the right password. Now again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do system, no, we're gonna do service uh, MC1 status. Okay, it's thinking. And cool, it is active and running, which is awesome. And you can see here, it gives you a few little notes that the uh, server has started again. And again, if you want to um, kind of like have a live view of what's going on, um, you can always do journal ctl fu mc onecervice press enter, and that'll give you sort of a live thing. So if you want to look at people logging into your server or whatever, um, that's how you do it. And that's pretty much it, everybody. Well done. You have just created your own systemd uh, environment. Um, so look for the next video. I hope you had a great time, and I uh, hope you learned something. Take care.